Yes, people, welcome back. This is London Show is back a little bit earlier this week because of the Champions League games. Tomorrow night is a massive one for Arsenal. And it's even bigger after the absolute shambles result at the weekend. We're going to talk Arsenal. We're going to talk Cole Palmer. We're going to compare him to Bukayo Saka because that's what everybody's doing right now. But Don, fair play. He's always stood by it. Lawless, don't think we're not going to talk about West Ham because we are, because they are just muddied at the moment, still just looking absolutely worse than ever. And D says he's going to join us. I don't really know. I mean, listen, D can join and talk about Palace beating Liverpool if he really wants, but Palace still rubbish, if I'm honest with you, as far as I'm concerned. So that's that. No Deji tonight. Deji's working, so he won't be able to be with us. But uh, big up to Don, bro. How are you feeling, bro? You good? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm good, man. Um, good performance. You know, these are the sort of performances that I want to see. You know, that's what, give, that's what gives fans belief, man. You know, that's what gives me confidence. That's what will give me chest. But I still haven't got chest, you know, because, again, Chelsea could just turn up on Saturday and just let us down again completely. Um, next week against you, man, we've got a big game against you guys. But yeah, man, it was it was a good it was a good win six 0 because we haven't beaten Everton in a minute uh, in a minute like one win in five against Everton recently, which was mad. Uh, but yeah, man, big up to big up Dan, big up Lee, big up Lawless. We'll chop it up and big up the chat, man. Yeah, come on, uh, Lawless. Last night was fun. Back for more. How you feeling? Yeah, it was good. Obviously, we was doing the show while while the guy had it on the side while the goals were coming in. It was uh, yeah, it was entertaining, but. Don's not getting an easy ride today. He's not getting, he's got to be held accountable for, by some of the things that he's said and hasn't said. Some of the credit that he's given and hasn't given. So we're going to be on his case still. All right, man. I look forward to that. That'll be fun to hear. Uh, Guna Lee, how are you, bro? Uh, you looked as disappointed as I did at the weekend, man. But uh, the last couple of days been a little bit easier for you, bro. Honestly, bro. I have, I have to say I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it honest with you, bro. I I don't even feel like I can really talk about Arsenal. I think this is the first time on a show that I cannot share my free true thoughts about Arsenal because if I say what I really really want to say, mate, yeah, I can't I can't. I, so I, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm not gonna say what I I'm not gonna say what I really want to say, but um. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about we'll talk about other things, but I can't, man. Just yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. It is a lot, man. We're gonna have to mention it at some point. But first of all, let's come to this crazy debate that everyone seems to have. I just come off the terrace, and even Terry was putting questions to me. Uh, what did he say? Uh, start, bench, and sell. Foden, Saka, Palmer, and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Like, where's this coming from? It's all the time. It's like. Saka this, Saka that, Saka must be the benchmark because everybody's better than Saka. Do you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to be better than better than this man. That's all I keep hearing. It is Bayes and Saka really could have. Yeah, but Dan, yeah, but Dan. The thing oh, is though, you're you're saying, than Saka. yeah, but you bro, have, your, your, your fan base, you do that. Yeah, your fan base have done it to them. They've done it to themselves because they say Saka's the best right winger in the world, one of the best right wingers in the world. So you're putting them on a platform. So obviously, people are gonna do this. Like. You can't, you can't you know blame people. And, and, and I hear that, right? And I suppose this is why it frustrates me more than other Arsenal fans because I don't put him in the world class bracket. And I never have. I think he's a top player, yeah. right? And I think so is Foden and so is Bellingham and so is. And one thing I will say is we're all English, by the way, right? So this is a good thing for England. It should be anyway. <laughs> um, but I don't feel like it's come. And maybe that's what it is because some of the Arsenal fan base do deserve it, right? But let's just let's just keep it real. Let's forget the whole Saka and Palmer thing for a minute. I'm sure we'll come back to it. But Guna Lee, like you're my bro. I love you, man. But this Cole Palmer talk, just 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 talk to me, man, because I think he's quality. I've looked at him this season. I've seen enough quality to think, wow, baller. And when Don said to me probably about six weeks ago, maybe even longer than that, I don't even know now. This show's show come about so quick that he thinks he's better a footballer than Saka. I told I you January, in January. Oh, was it January? Sorry, it goes so quick, man. So Jan New Year, he said he's better than Saka. I never said to him, you were a crazy fool. But I sat there and I thought, well, I need to see more before I go no. But I also need to see more before I go yes. And I must say, this kid is a very good player. But you're not having it, Lee. You said a couple on your show that you just think he's all right. You think that Chelsea's the best of a bad bunch. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I, I'll let you talk. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I'll let you yeah. have, the, have the mic, bro. Go on. Talk Listen, I, I think for me, look, when you look at Chelsea right now, genuinely, and I saw it yesterday, I watched the game, you know, and I haven't been, I've just taken a little hiatus away from talking about football because it's just such, it's crazy. It's crazy. But I, I watched yesterday and I saw Palmer. He, he literally travels with the ball for five yards. It, and it's almost like the world comes crumbling down and everything's perfect, amazing, because Chelsea are so rubbish. Their levels of, of, of any talent spotting is so low. Now, let's be frank. Bowen's had a fantastic season. People aren't raving and going about crazy about him. Caduce has had a crazy, great, great season. And when uh, and it's funny when 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 Chelsea are losing games, no one talks about how Paul how Paul Palmer is. Now look, he's had a great season in terms of goals, and he's had a great season in terms of you know he has looked effective in a poor team. But this 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 same player is ninth. Now it just looks superior because Chelsea are in such a poor position, but they shouldn't be there because of the amount of money they've spent. And why don't we get to the to the actual root of it? Chelsea and Cole Palmer is part of that. Were predicted to finish top four. They couldn't do that. Chelsea were predicted to finish top five. Then we moved it for them. We we changed the the direction for them. They couldn't do that. They we said get Europa League. They can't struggle. Currently can't do that. They can't even get Conference League currently. They've been flirting with eleventh all all season. Now when I look at Palmer, I see a footballer. He does look good. But Don made a, a, a statement just a minute ago and he said that Arsenal fans do it. No, 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 we don't. No one, can, no Arsenal fan compares anybody to Palmer. Everybody else does it. Everybody I never said else... anything about Palmer. I said Saka. I said, I said Saka. I said, I said the reason why people will say, will, will, put, will compare their players to Saka when their players are good, especially in that, in that same position, is because you lot, your fan base, say Saka is one of the best wingers in in, in world football. He's well. Some of them okay, say no, 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 class. No, no, that's no, not no, one of them. No, no, don't, don't worry, mate. I've got you. Yeah, that's not one of them no, that overrates no, Saka. No, you've, got, you've got a huge. You've got a huge part of your fan base that believe that Saka is world class and is one of the best right wingers. No, no, in let me, world. Let, no, let me get to that. No, 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 let me get to that. There's two parts to it. You look at Saka as a footballer, and I don't think anybody can disagree. He's gone to in- with England in two tournaments. And he's been an instrumental player in getting England, in essence, nowhere because they haven't won anything. But he's been an instrumental player in that team with probably Harry Kane and maybe one or two. But he's been a star player in that team. He, from an Arsenal perspective, he made his new debut in Europa League. And ever since, he's been instrumental. His numbers have improved, not, not only goals-wise, but assist-wise. Assist he started off at left-back. He's played 10. He's played left wing. He's played right wing. He's played almost every position, which shows that he's got an IQ of the game, a high level. People say, oh, he's a left back. No, no, no. He's so good. He can play in so many positions. Now, people want to, you know, mock it if he is he injured, whatever, whatever. The guy is formidable in terms of the amount of games he plays. Now, that doesn't make you world class. Availability does make you world class, but the, the fact that he's played a lot of games in a row doesn't make you world class. But you can't look at the guy and say that he isn't a class talent player. Now, nobody's disputing that. But when people say um, this whole Palmer's better than Saka, I get what people are saying. I get what Chelsea fans are saying. They're saying the skill level of the two players, I they look at Palmer and think that he's better than Saka. Now that's that's I mean if that's what they want to think and that's what they they want to believe that's fine but for me personally I don't know how you can even crown or put anybody in that position when they've done it for one season and you know the perfect example it doesn't always go like this is Haaland last season he scored 51 goals this season after him being after there being tapes on him being a lot of you know reviews about him as a player teams have worked him out a little bit better and that doesn't mean he's not crap. Doesn't mean he's crap. Doesn't mean he's not world class. It doesn't mean any of that. All it means is that let's pump the brakes. And that's all I've asked. Can we not crown this guy the new Messi? And people do that online. It's silly, fine. But can we not crown this guy after three quarters of a season? Can we can we pump the brakes? Can we do the same thing that Saka got 
with Palmer. And look, the numbers are great. But Mo Salah, Don, you would agree, has been doing this for years. And people compare him to Hazard, which you don't like. Because we know that Hazard is a better player, technically, than the likes of, than the likes of Mo Salah. But Mo Salah's got numbers and longevity, which is going to go on his side. Now, Hazard has longevity as well. You can't use you can't use a longevity excuse against Hazard because he's got it too. Okay, fine, no problem. But what I'm saying to you is, let's just pump the brakes. Let's give him next season to prove that he is fully the player that you believe he is. So whether you want to compare him to Saka, Bolden, Bowen, I know Bowen's a bit older, or whoever it is else, Anthony Gordon's another one, whoever else it is that you want to compare it to. It's not hate. I'm more just looking at, I'm just doing the same thing that everybody does to our players, whether it was Saliba, whether it was Declan Rice, whether it was X, Y, or Z. So it's not me saying he's crap. I've never said he's crap. I'm more That's just basically what you said, bro. I'm looking at and I'm saying, listen, I just don't see, I just don't think he is the player that everybody professes him to be. And yeah, look, but Lewis, Lewis asked you, Lewis specifically I, asked you. What is I he like? You, I, I don't. What is he I look at him. I look at him. I look at. No, he said that. What's he? Yeah, what he's not good at. And I. Yeah, Lewis I asked you what is what is lacking. Yeah, and you I said, he's, this he, said he, he said he's not good at dribbling. He's not a good passer, which is pure cap, bro. Pure it's cap. Not, bro. It's not. It's, 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 it's pure said, cap, bro. It, listen, listen, listen. All I'm saying to you is, right now, teams are allowing him to do what he wants. Because they don't see him. I'm telling you, Don, he is not top. Next season, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you, the same treatment that Saka gets where he's doubled and triple teamed, he's going to get that. And let's see how he manoeuvres and if he gets these numbers that he gets next season. Now, I'm not going to say he's crap if he doesn't get the same amount of goals that he gets next season or the same assists. No, you can shake your head, but the facts of the matter is... I'm letting you land. I'm letting you that, land. That, no, 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 no. You can shake your head all you like, but the facts of the matter is... We have to see him do this over a period of time to give him any sort of ratings the way that you want me to give him. Because every other no top one's player... Him, no one's calling him world-class, though. I'd only, no, I'd no, only no, hear no. that I'm point. Saying, no, hold player, on, hold on, Lee. Yeah, hold on, Lee. I'd only hear that no, point. I'm, I'm, only I'm hear not talking about world-class. Forget this, forget this. No, because you're, you, about... keep say, you keep saying, you keep saying, oh, these ratings that people are putting him on. I would, I would understand what you're saying if everyone on Twitter or majority of Chelsea fans were overrating him to say he's world-class. I don't think he's world class yet. I can't give him that title yet. Yeah. Right now, he is performing at a world class level. Let's be honest about it. The numbers he's putting up, the performances he's putting up, he's performing at a world class level. Same way Odegaard has been performing at a world class level at the minute. Doesn't mean that they're world class, but they're performing at that level. Same way as Ramsey. Remember Aaron Ramsey when he was performing at a world class level as well. But no one said he's world class. We're giving him his, his stripes at the minute because he's turning up consistently. Right. He beats the eye test, like we've all said. And he puts up the numbers as well, bro. So I don't understand. I don't understand what, Me, like, what you hate. What, what, what do you make of this? What do you make of this comment? What is, what is your actual problem with Palmer, bro? I don't get it. What do you make of this comment, Don? Because this super chat from Junior <clears throat> says Palmer scoring goals in games that mean nothing. Palmer's a long way to go to be compared to Saka. This fan base argument is garbage. This this logic is just is just silly because Palmer scored. I think he, he's he's put up GNA. I think over fifty percent. Yeah, right now. Without Palmer, we're literally in a relegation dogfight. Yeah. And the narrative is completely different. You know, how can Chelsea spend all this money and be where they are? You know, right, right now, we are where we are right now in the table because of Cole Palmer. Yes, we might not be challenging. Yes, we might not be in top four. There is, there, you know, there is a possibility of getting into the top six right now as bad as we've been. But no one can try to tell me that Palmer's goals have meant nothing. Yeah. Palmer has, has scored and assisted in the same game more than anyone in the league this season. He's won us so many points this season, yeah? You can't sit there and say that they, they go for nothing. So what? What does it mean then? If Chelsea don't win the league, it means that this season was for nothing. Like, I don't look at football like that because there's only one winner. There can only be one winner. And right now, if it's not no, for him, no, we are literally, no, no the, we are literally in a relegation no, dogfight, bro. We are literally in no, a relegation dogfight. No one's saying no one's saying that Chelsea Palmer isn't a good player. I think we, what we're doing is, I, for me, I don't want to talk about anyone else, for me, I just don't. I honestly, I I genuinely look at the guy. I think he's in a rich, great grain of form, a, a vein of form. Sorry, he he's doing some things that yo. I have to look at it and maybe applaud it, maybe not. The nutmegs. If he does that, he does a few nutmegs in different games, like I've seen it. But I've also equally seen him in other games, and he looks very quiet. And what this game? Is what I'm saying. Give the examples, I've seen bro. Him in many games, many what, games. What games, bro. 
No, no, don't do that. No, I don't you need can't to say, listen. I don't, you can't no, say no, something no, like that and then not give the examples, bro. No, Come on now. You can't do that. No, you can't no, no, do no, that. No, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't need to name the games because I know You do need I've to name the games. I'm saying... No, I, I don't because I can't just off the top of my head think because I'm not a Chelsea. I don't care like that. All I'm saying to you, I've seen him in many games. I'm telling you, many games this season. So then how can you say I he's think... a bad passer if you've seen him in many games when literally everything goes through him? Like Lewis told you, there is literally a compilation which is about four and a half minutes long, yeah, where majority of the clips is Cole Palmer. Yeah, this ain't a Cole Palmer compilation. It's a compilation of big, big chances missed. Majority of the passes are from Cole Palmer. Four and a half minutes, Dan. Of Cole Palmer yes. just playing people up. Okay, right. up. You know what, you know what I'm going to do? He said you know he wasn't going to do a good passer, you know what, bro. You know, hold on. This is where I'm going to get you. This is where I'm going to get you. This is exactly where I'm going to get you. You can't so, get me. All of, hold on. All of these great performances, all of these great performances. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, let, let me hold on one sec because I just got an important message. One sec, one sec, one sec. You see? You have to run away. <laughs> <laughs> he had to run away. Lee's not Lee's not making any sense whatsoever because everything that he's say, he's saying Palmer can't do, there is strengths, bro. Yeah, there is strengths. Look what he did to Dallo the other week when we played um United when he literally right. done that skill, he ran past him. Yeah, that's right, bro. Um, look what he did, look what he did yesterday for the first goal as well. That's just natural ability, the skill to do that. Yeah, I've seen this guy put so many guys on his ass. I remember against Spurs as well, he was skillful in that game. You said he's not a good passer. The amount of assists this guy's got this—he's got nine assists this season. He's even chasing that as well. Yeah, I think that, that, the, person, what, what, the, person, the only person who's got more than him is on ten right now. He's on nine, what, right? What I was gonna, he what I was he, he say plays people well. up for fun, bro. He plays people up for fun. And if we had a striker, he would even be more. He'll be on more assists. Do you know what I'm saying? He'll be on more assists what, what, this season, what, right? What I don't, I don't, say I don't, I don't agree with your take. By using, by using, by using what you're saying, this is exactly what you're saying. Oh, everything goes through him. So it does. why don't you think, hold on, hold on. So when you lose games and everything goes through him, why, where's the flag? Because you're giving all the good stuff when but you win. Does and Palmer play a centre-back? Does Palmer play it right? But it's a team game. It's a team game, Lee. But it's that doesn't mean, it's because it's a I team remember, game. I remember the game, the Newcastle away game. He played, he looked very poor that game. I remember yeah, the game. We, 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 had been, we, we had him. We had we, that, that shape. I, I remember that game. I remember that game. I remember that game very well because the shape was all over the place. That game. Okay, yeah. so now we see shape all over Everyone. the place. No, 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 no. I will, I, will, I, will, I will tell you that the shape was all over the place. There's context to it. There's context to it. Hold on. What we can't do is you ask me to name a game. I then name a game, and then you're giving context. Don't do that because. Nobody can say don't do that say if it's been played in, in a in a weird way. I will I will give you the context of what happened that game, bro. Done, 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 done. I'm just saying to you, you're saying everything goes through this guy. You're languishing in ninth position. If you're languishing in ninth position, clearly there are lots of games where he hasn't turned up because if everything goes through him, he's not the main culprit. But if you want to give him all the praise for the position you're in, I'm also going to give you all the negative. For all the position that Defe hold on, Lee, Lee. I don't hold on, Dan. Let me you just let me just stop there, Lee. I don't, I don't get, I don't, I really don't get this logic because people were doing this with Enzo Fernandez last year as well. Yeah, Enzo came into our team last year and he was he, he joined in January and he was our best player, right? We finished 12th last year, but he did his job. It is a team game. Palmer, yes, going forward, he has done his job about to, uh, to abundance, bro. Yeah, he's literally going bar for bar of Erling Haaland right now. He's on 20 goals this season. Yeah, he's on 38 GA for the season, right? He's doing his job. He's, he's doing what he needs to do. Going the other way, bro, our defence has been leaking goals. You're trying to blame Palmer for, for our defence leaking goals when he's an attacker, yeah? Okay, how can you How can you, how can you, how can you use that logic? How can you use that logic? Because Palmer will do his job. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me give you a perfect example. Let me give you a perfect example. The other day, the other day, yeah, when, when um, we played um, uh, Burnley, yeah? Raheem Sterling, right? He came on the pitch. He assisted Palmer. Palmer scored. The game should have been done, right? What happens? In the box, another set piece. We concede. We concede the set piece. We draw the game, right? Palmer's spoken about this as well. We do it to ourselves, yeah? How many times have I said to you, lot, when I've been on stream, I've said, bro, we don't like winning games because every single game, there's a there's an individual mistake at the back, yeah? Your point would stand if, I don't know, Palmer's scoring all these goals, but every single week, he keeps giving away the ball in silly positions and then the, the opposition scores, Yeah? Palmer, it's a, it's, a, it's a team game, bro. He is doing his job. He's doing what, what we're paying him to do and what, what his role is in the team. Everything goes for him. Poch literally came out and said, yeah, we're, a, we're, a, we're a one-man team. Yeah, so for you, to, for you to try to say, oh, okay, so then where's Palmer when you lose games? As wait, if Palmer's no, supposed to do everything. Wait, 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 What's going on? You so, so, so you're giving, I love the context you're giving. Fantastic. 
So can I ask? I wonder who. who I wonder team name, bro. Wait, hold on, hold on. I wonder who said this. Finally, everyone is seeing how overrated Saka is. By the way, another game where Saka bags but stunk out the rest of the game. Where the fuck is your context for that then? Because what you're doing, why is it not a team game when Saka doesn't, we don't win a game, but it's, oh, Saka, oh. your team needs you. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 I'll let you speak. Why are you giving context for Palmer, but you love to talk about Saka? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, he's I'll limping the game. That means that the game. Poor performance. Don't. I'll, I'll answer what, that wait, comfortably. Wait, done, done, done. You can't do this. I'm giving praise to a player. And I've done it too early. Don, I'm giving, hold on. Don, I'm giving praise to a player and fair play to you. What you said at the start of the season, what you said at the start of the season is you said you're expecting Cole Palmer. You didn't have this thoughts that you had now, so, but I'll give you the praise. You expected your forward line in Sterling and Palmer and uh, who, uh, Jackson from, 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 from what you saw in preseason to replicate that into this season and you expected them to score the goals. And I just, I, well, everybody, not just, not, not just me, everybody didn't think that that was going to happen. But I have to be honest with you. You cannot be serious to sit there and say that you're going to say, oh, it's a team game when Chelsea lose, but when Arsenal drop points or when any other team drop points, oh, well, it's just because they're bummy. Don't do that. Don't do that. And because you they're also bummy. have to what be are you talking players. about. I don't get this. You can't, you can't use one you, narrative. You're, 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 you're so wrong and strong right now. You're just doubling you're down. Done, that you're done, just done, saying done, things wrong. Done, like you're you just saying what things. I'm saying, hold on, let me tell you. What I'm saying to you is you can't use one narrative for Palmer and his team. Oh, it's defensive fault or there's context to why they didn't play well. But when Saka doesn't win a game or when Arsenal win a game it's all Saka's fault and Saka please rise yeah, where, and where Saka we your team needs you and Saka why are you why are you why are you limping this that and the other because that's what you do I'm, I'm reading your tweets this is what you do but when where, Arsenal where, when Chelsea don't where, win, where, when Chelsea don't win wait when Ch I'm, I'm, uh, so now, I'm I say, now I say so now I say so hold on so let me let me just get your logic you straight. want me to take so you're, the screenshot you're saying, hold on hold on hold on you're saying yeah I'll say you don't win games and what you're saying right now is so mad so basically what you're trying to say is whenever you lot lose games, yeah, I, I blame Saka and say he's the reason why you lost the game. Is that I'm what you're saying? Really, I'm, I'm giving you evidence. Do you want me to put it on oh, the screen? Oh, where, it. Where, where, have I said it. In, where have I said in that tweet that I blame Saka for the loss? Or have I not Have I not just said that it's overrated? I've had this take for years, bro. bro I've had I'm this take for years, bro. That's why, look, bro, I said this in January it. when it wasn't a popular take. Bare people are debating it now because more people are seeing it. I said this in January. I watch your team week in, week out. Yeah, I saw Saka come up from when he was a left back and he was on the come up. And I literally said him and Smith Rowe are going to make it at Arsenal. Yeah, I didn't like Eddie. Eddie for years, I haven't liked that. I haven't rated that guy. And even, what's his name? Um, uh, Reese Nelson, I didn't rate that guy either. I think he was he was all right under Wenger, but he was a little bit too flimsy for my liking. But Saka and, and Smith Rowe, I saw something in them. But I've always said, bro, this guy goes too much in games. And like I said, he doesn't take on his man as much as I would like him to. It's not to say he hasn't got the ability to do it. This is what people fail to comprehend. Yeah, Saka's a good player. He's got the ability to do it. And that is why I'm harsh on him because I don't see him do it enough, right? But for you to try to say that every time you lose, I blame Saka is disingenuous, bro, because I never do that. The other day when you lot, um, uh, lost uh, uh, the game against Aston Villa, right? I did say yes in that sort of game. Saka should be rising. Saka should be doing more. In the first half, he was decent. In the second half, he was a ghost. And that goes back to what I've said about him in, 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 in a lot of games. He has those sort of games where he will ghost and he doesn't take the game by the scuff of the neck, right? And he will get that expectation put on him because he's one of your key players and where your where your where your fan base put him, right? In world football and on, on this platform, right? I don't, I don't, I don't, I really don't get your logic because I've never once said Saka's a bad player. I, I, I like Saka. But for me, Palmer's just, Palmer's just got more in his more in his ammunition than him, bro. And that's you okay. Need, bro. Then, all I need to know is. In on in on the, on on the second, league, on. on the second of January, there was a question asked on Twitter. Rank these Premier League wingers. There's four pitches: Mohamed Kudus, Olise, Palmer, and Saka. Guess who he put last? This is this is this oh, is what why I are you so? I don't get Dan. I don't get. I don't get Lee. I don't get your point. Why are you so hurt that I don't rate Saka as much as you? Why are you no, so no, hurt? No, by no. That? It's not about rating Saka. No, I don't care. But my point. No, but is you are that... hurt by it, though, Lee. Because Lee, Dan, sorry. Don, yeah? The question. Don, the question. Don. On, the question. On. The question. On. Twitter, he, just, he just answered it now. He's so hurt. 
he's so hurt that I don't rate Saka the way he rates Saka. Right? Yeah, to the point, the point, to the point where you've got to lie and say you're that making Palmer, up your Palmer, Palmar's not, you're Palmer's not, not, Palmer's not a good driver. Yeah? At least, me, if don't. you're gonna talk about Palmer, if you're gonna talk about Palmer, you be talking about. Bro, you're, 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 the thing is, Lee, the thing is, you can't say, you can't say. Hold on, hold on, Lee. I listen to what you said. You can't say. You're literally. You're, you're, you're physically making up narratives. I've said you're not making you're up narratives. narratives. You're trying to make you're trying you're trying you're to force me, listen, bro. You're trying to force me to rate Saka like you. Done, done. I don't care about Saka. My point is, is you do, clearly you have one. Done. Listen, I'm explaining to you. You have one narrative for Saka and one narrative for Palmer. You give all the context. Oh, so I've literally explained to you. You're in ninth. You said everything goes through this one player. So mm -hmm. why is it that you don't put any blame on him when you don't perform or when your team doesn't perform? But you bro, give all the last game against Sheffield. Oh, he didn't play, he didn't play well. Take over this one. He, bro, did, he did, you literally he did. don't even listen, bro. It's crazy. Okay, carry on, carry on, bro. Because I've criticized him. Let's make it a point. We get both of them. I get I get the point because me, Dan, Dan, Dan. He's he's saying, yeah, he's trying to say, oh, he's had he's seen Palmer have these poor games or whatever. Bro, before backstage, before you even joined, I literally said to Lawless and Dan, yeah, what did I say to you, Lot? I said Palmer against Sheffield wasn't good. Yeah, if you're subscribed to my channel, you'll know that I said that. He's, I said Palmer was not good in that game in that ten. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not, bro. I'm not one of these fans that hides away when my team, when my players don't, don't, don't perform. I will never be one of those players. I will always give constructive criticism on my team and other teams. Right, I'm balanced in my takes. Right, but for you to say I've seen Palmer have so many bad games, I've watched a lot of your games, but then in the same breath to say that he's not a good dribbler and not a good passer. It's not adding up to me, bro. It's not adding up because he is a good dribbler and he is a very good passer, bro. Very, very good passer, bro. And that's one of the main mm -hmm. things that I spoke about when we signed him. Yeah, you were, I was on Never a Foul with this guy and he was trying to cook me, calling me deluded. Oh, you just signed another young player. What's he going to do? He's just a city reject. And I told him, I said, this guy is polished for a 21-year-old. Every time I watch him play for Man City, he never looks out of place. Never. Yeah, he scored against you in preseason. I think you've forgotten about that. Right when 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 they when you beat Man City, he scored that that mad goal, and he even scored um sure. it, yeah he even scored it. that header um to equalize for Man City when they won the the club what was it the club World Cup that they won in it yeah, Palmer yeah, scored yeah. that header Palmer scored that header so I was always confident that he was gonna come in and do his thing obviously I didn't expect him to get thirty eight GA I'm not gonna delude myself and at the time and say he's gonna get a mad like forty GA I was never gonna say that but I told Lee I said if the ball drops to anyone. I trust Palmer and I trust in Cuckoo to finish it. And Lee was laughing at me. Yeah. So don't 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 make it out as if I'm only just saying this now, Lee, because I've always rated this guy. I've always rated him. I know you've rated him. I, I know you've always rated him. And in January, you said he was better than Saka. And it's come up again now, right? And Palmer was just elite last night. It was ridiculous what I said. Yeah, Everton were crap. Don't get me wrong. But you absolutely destroyed them. But let me get Lawless in on this, man. Uh, this this whole Palmer debate. I mean, Goon and Lee and, and Greasy Don have been going at it, man. We know both of them are. One way or the other. Where are you at, bro? Yeah, look, I think I think Palmer has potential to to overtake Saka for sure. It's still early. Saka's been doing his thing consistently at you know at Premier League level, best player of his team for the past few seasons, you know, like carrying that Arsenal team at a few times. So while at the moment, yeah, it's looking good for Palmer. I'm not willing to, you know quickly jump on the Palmer bandwagon and say yes. But I think he's definitely got the potential to overtake Saka. He's been doing it in a dead team, Palmer. So you've got to give him credit for that Chelsea tax. Um, you know, imagine what he could have done and achieved if, if he stayed at Chelsea. Do you know what I mean? Uh, sorry, at City. So, yeah, man, it's, it's looking good. But, yeah, still early doors. Like, I think Don obviously has these agendas that are going to run yesterday I see him tweet out some some crazy like they're winning six nil. Can you imagine they're winning six nil? You think this guy would be happy, right? What's he tweeting out here? Why couldn't Potch bring on Tyreek instead of Chilwell at left wing? Like, what benefit <laughs> does that really bring anyone? Like, he's what still saying that, Lewis. Lewis. Nah, nah. Time. We're, not, we're not gonna do that, you know. You know, we're not gonna what? do that because, bro. You see, you see, you see your academy. I like, I like when Moyes brings these academy boys through. Yeah, because West Ham, what did they call it? The, what the, what's, the, what's the phrase that you Academy of Football? Yeah, Academy of Football. Yeah, you lot have produced some good talents. Why can't I want one of our our, our best best wingers in our academy right now? This guy, I'll show you lot clips of Tyreek George after. Yeah, if you know, you know. Why can't I want him to come on when we're like five nil up? 
yeah, instead of Ben Chiu or what, left wing, when he's an actual winger. You put him on the bench you for what? Like, but where yeah, was the credit for Poch? Where was the pro Poch tweet? Where was the, do you know what, fair play Poch, man? Like, that was look a at, good Look at my tweet when I saw the lineup. Look at my tweet when I saw the lineup. I said, bro, I would have played Carney. I said, I, I said, I would have played Carney in the pivot, but I expected Gallagher to start. But I said that the attack's strong enough. In my preview that I did, he literally went with the lineup that I went with, bro, in terms of the attack. Yeah. I was happy with okay. the lineup. We're talking about credit for the performance and the game and, and how you yeah. played. All I'm seeing is, is Poch criticism. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, at that point, why not bring on some youngsters? And I would agree. But where you've been on this guy's case and it's been so grim for you, surely this would, was a bit of a time for some positivity and some, do you know what? Fair play, fair play. That, that was that was really good. Hopefully we're turning a corner and we're seeing signs of what could be. And maybe, maybe Poch could be figuring this out. But no. It bro, was, it's called, it's called, it's called, criticism. It's called, nah, bro, it's called constructive criticism. I, I will never... I will never accept, yeah, you bringing on a left back at left wing instead of a guy who is very promising, by the way. I want this guy to hopefully break through at Chelsea. Maybe yeah. he wants Chilwell to you know, get minutes. Yeah, they are so funny. You know what's so ironic about this? He even looks like Saka, yeah? T just type in Tyreek George. You'll see what he looks like. He even looks like Saka, yeah? This guy is good. And I wanted to actually see him, yeah? But again, he puts Chilwell on left gonna, wing. Is he going to be better than Saka next season, uh, Don? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to send you a lot of clips after but listen Poch big him up bro because like I said that's the attack that I wanted to see I wanted to see Madweki on one side I wanted to see Mudrik on the other side Jackson always starts for us because he will never start Washington and I wanted Cole Palmer to start in the 10 because like I said that, when that, Gallagher nah, plays nah, in nah, man, get Washington in that guy is a clown man that guy is a full on clown that Jackson I'm, I'm, I'm what do you mean he's a clown he's, he's been, been, out, been on 14 I, I Calm down, but that Jackson, even you're oh, definitely not gonna break the a goal. Like he should. If I'm Poch, man, you're you're out of here. Like he's not even. Nah, that like, bro. Do you know what it is? I was bro. I was pissed off when I saw. You, listen, you want to talk about tweets? Go on my tweets and you see what I said about that in incident. Yeah, that's just, that's just childish because it's not the first time that that them they, these I call these young delinquents. It's not the first time, yeah, that these lot have crowded around mm -hmm. making a scene when Palmer wants to take his penalty because number one, embarrassing. As, that was as, as cold as Palmer is, yeah, like. You're, you're putting him off his game. You're, you're, you're distracting things. You're just, you're messing things up. You're embarrassing us. You know, he is the penalty taker, right? Nine out of nine now, by the way, his penalties. He, he's a, for me, that's one of his, one of his skills, right? In terms of taking penalties. Okay. But it's not acceptable, bro. And I'm glad that Poch came out. There you go. There's your praise. I'm glad that Poch came out after and said, yo, Poch, uh, uh, sorry, um, uh, Palmer's the penalty taker. If he wants to give it to someone else to take it, that's on him. But he's a penalty taker. But what I have to say about that is why was this not sorted out earlier in the season? He's been taking all of our penalties. Why was this not made clearer to the team that he's the one that takes the penalties? Like, he's the de designated penalty taker. But it was embarrassing, bro. I don't want to see that again. I really don't want to see that again. It was a shambles, man. See, you've been sat here quite quietly, brother. Let me I, I'm, I'm warming up, man. I'm warming up. I, it's been a while since I've been here, man. But I just... I know, oh, Lee, Lee, Lee. I just want to talk to Lee, man. Uh, Lee's been avoiding messages and stuff, man. I just want to talk to Lee. Yeah, Lee. <laughs> yeah, Lee, Lee, Lee. Lee let's talk, man. It. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. So let me ask you a question because I was in here before. Is is, is 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 simple yes or no? Is Palmer a... Not world-class. Is Palmer a good all-round footballer? Bro, get off the next question, man. I can't bother, bro. I'm going to see next question. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just checking sure because you, you compared Arteta to Brendan Rodgers, but you was having the most chat before your game against, um, against Villa. Um, so I oh. just want to make sure because no, no, because opinions, no, no, no. You can't be doing that. You can't be saying certain things and then changing up. Yeah, did it cut out? Uh -huh. didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Out. Out. I didn't even know. I didn't how can you do that? No, but no, that, no, no, no. You have a lot of chat. No, no, let me come back. You have, a, you have a lot of chat for other clubs and other whatever. Like, I just want to clarify a few things, man. Now it's time to come up to the stage. You have your fun. Now it's time to actually talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. So, is Arteta similar to Brendan Rodgers? Gunnelly never backs down. I'll give him that, man. Go on, Gunnelly. Go on. Bro, what, what is it, man? What's your, what are you asking me, bro? Sorry. Um, well, let's ask, let's get, let's get to the Palmer one. Is Palmer a good all round footballer? That's just the question. That's yeah, the question. You already said yes, man. Move on to the next. Oh, okay, exactly, okay, like, okay, okay, okay. On, okay. And now let's yeah. let's get on to Arsenal. Let's get on to Arsenal now. Is Arteta your Brendan Rodgers? No. And if you watch it, I didn't say that. So what did he say? 
I, I asked the question. I so, literally said... Hold up, hold up. If he's, if he's similar to Brendan Rodgers, then how comes you have all this chat when other teams end up losing one or two games and then afterwards you're asking questions about Brendan Rodgers? Surely you've seen enough of artists in five years to be asking those questions before the Villa defeat, but you don't. And this is my problem. With you, you just flip-flop in terms of when it's good, cool, you want to give it all. As soon as it gets one little bad result... One little bad result. You want to compare Arteta to Brendan Rodgers. You want to compare Palmer. You want to say Palmer's not good all-round footballer. Now he's a good all-round footballer. This is what I'm talking about. How comes Palmer wasn't an all-round good footballer about two weeks ago, and now he is? This is my point. This is my point. You can't just be you can't just be ch like changing it up like that because you love to give it. So I was, like you have you to, what to mention. D. You you're, you're, so, like you're, so, you're so right, D. You're so right. Yeah. Start of the season, I, I, I've already told Lee, was on a stream with Jamie Phillips. Yeah, this was before. This was when rivals were first catching on to Cole Palmer. Yeah, Guna Lee literally sat there and said he's been impressed by Cole Palmer and he would like to see him play for England. Is what he said. That is why when I saw the take the other day on Twitter, I couldn't believe what I was hearing, bro. When he said he can't pass, he can't dribble. I yeah, said what? And now he can. How? How? What? Well, it doesn't change in the space of two weeks. It's not. Like what? Like anyway, it, man, that don't make sense. Let's move on. Let's move on from this part. Bro, this is it's crazy. Like too long, man. D, what's your question about Arsenal to Lee? I don't get it. Uh, I'm asking about Arsenal similar to Brendan, Brendan Rodgers. I didn't say that. I literally okay. didn't say that. Not okay, once. okay. You but you mentioned Brendan Rodgers in the same sentence, and you asked a question. You 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 didn't say it, but you might. Uh, you definitely asked a question. You asked, is Brendan Rodgers or no? Is Arteta or Brendan Rodgers? So do you think that? No, I literally, if you for the third time, I said he's not, but I said to you, you need to ask questions because he might. Okay, be so I'm asking the question. So, so he's not, yeah. But I you asked me this. A, I don't think it's a mad, mad take. Time, I, I thought, the, no, no, but no, no, it is a mad take know. because you, you are look, Arsenal fans hype up, man. Arsenal fans have been doing this. You play fans football, you hype up, but when it comes to actual trophies and actual results and actual like, what's artists actually want? One FA Cup, and now all of a sudden everything was great. Everything was great. And then after one Villa defeat... Right, D, let, let me come in. Let, let me come in here, yeah, D. Right? Yeah, I'll tell on. you why, right? I'll tell you why this is where it is. I'm going to back Lee a little bit here, right? Because I, I watch Lee on AFTV. I watch all my boys on AFTV. And actually, he was saying, that is a question that has been posed. Troops has posed it. Turkish has posed it. I've posed it. A few people have. It was a couple of seasons ago. Is he going to be the nearly there guy? Or is he going to get us across the line? And that's what Guna Lee's bringing up, is that question is going to come up again if we do not get across the line. And there will be a lot of people that will say, is he the Brendan Rodgers and do we need the equivalent of a Klopp to come in and take us forward? Now, for me personally, I've seen enough this season to say that there's context as to why potentially we might not win something this year, right? I'm devastated that we got dumped out of both the domestic cups. We need to get across the line tomorrow night against Bayern. We have to, yeah, because they have to be going further in that Champions League. And this season at the moment, I think the title might be done because of Man City and how good they are. But of course, it's still up to grabs if they do drop points, right? So I think that question was posed. So I think it was a fair question to bring up personally, D, right? And I understand that you might think it's weird if Lee was to say, he's a Brendan Rodgers, get him out, get someone in, because that might be an extreme overreaction to losing one game in the whole of 2024. But I don't know if Lee was saying that, bro. I didn't. But, I but literally when, said, but, I've but said when four times. You see a manager I for four or five years. Four, you know, you know how a manager is. Times, we've been as rival fans, we've been questions. talking about this. We've been talking about this. As rival fans, we've been talking about this. We've been saying that Arteta, as much as good football that you lot play, when April comes up, that's when Arteta get uh, <sighs> that's when Arsenal get found out. We saw you bottled it last year. We saw you bottled the top four the year before. And this is what's weird to me. You you lot ask these questions every before April. Is Arteta better than Pep? Is Arteta this or that or whatever? Like, he's crazy hyped. He's crazy hyped. But when April comes up, you start asking these questions. So if something keeps happening over and over again, it happened last season. It happened the season before. You still progress. Don't get me wrong. But it's happened about two years now in terms of, we, we're going to see this year. He hasn't actually finished. But you lot actually, just admit, like, you lot don't actually believe in him. Because after one loss, for you to ask those type of questions, it just shows that you never really had 100% faith in him, which is cool. But just keep that same energy all around. Do you get it? Like, say that, cool, we're doing great. Let's wait till April, then let's see what happens. But all of, all, this, all this time, I've been hearing, oh, you know, we're, we're going to win the league. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Then if you if you're going to win the league, if you have so much faith in this manager and he's been here for how many years, keep the same energy. That's how I see it. Like, keep the same energy. You clearly don't have that much faith that one defeat makes you think of those questions. Do you get what I'm trying to say? No, no, you don't. <laughs> 
Well, it, it's a simple thing. Keep the same energy throughout the season. You, you thought Arsenal were going to win the league. And now you're comparing... W- did Brendan Rodgers win the league with Liverpool? Are no, you he done? didn't. No. No, no, no. Did done, Brendan Rodgers win the league with Liverpool? No, he didn't. So, Where he's he's going, he man, Arsenal man. Were bro, win bro, league. Bro, you know what it is, right? I swear. Do you know what it is? Because he's not interacting, Dan. That's what it is. He's not interacting. Do you know what it is, bro? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You can't just offer one defeat compared to Brendan Rodgers. That means you never had faith. You never had faith in him. Let him let him come back. Let him lie, man. Go on, D. Go on, D. Go on, Do you know what it is, bro? Part of me is I literally feel it's so belittling of me. Well, sorry. It's so below me to even respond to D because he's fucking supports Crystal Palace. It doesn't matter, bro. I watch football, bro. That's you watch football, that's the, that's trust me, watch with the two screen. eyes, bro, two eyes. That's I, what and don't think, it's, I'm not, it's nothing about I'm Palace. Deep. Lee, 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 let me clarify this, because you said this a few times. It's nothing about Palace, bro. I could spot Burn Albion, but I better ball knowledge than you, because you were saying Palmer is not a good footballer two weeks ago. <laughs> now you're here talking about Palmer is a good footballer. So this ain't about Palace, this ain't about Arsenal. Didn't it's say about that either. watching Didn't football, it's about seeing the game, bro. You always, you always give these oh. digs about, oh, he sports Palace. It doesn't matter <laughs> what team I sport, bro. It doesn't matter what team I sport. If you can watch the game and if you have actual decent ball knowledge, you would know certain things are like just straight. Palmer, to even for you to even question a guy who's got 20 goals now and question whether he's a good footballer or not is wild. That's nothing to do with Palace or Arsenal. That's to do with you. You. That's, that's my problem. It's you, bro. It's you. It's not your team. It's you. And that's the thing. I, I would want Arsenal to win the trophies here, but fans like you... Actually, ruin it for the rest, bro. Because you lot are so you're so entitled. And then when and when shit hits the fan, you just want to be, oh yeah, I can't be bothered. He's a Palace fan. He's a... Come on, bro, keep the same energy, man. Keep the I'll same energy. I'll keep the same energy. Bro. But you're just you're just you're just waffling, mate. You're 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 in your van chatting a bunch of nonsense, bro. I'll I'm not I'm not waffling. I'm not waffling. I'm not waffling. Not waffling though. You're talking waffling. about Palace fan. Yeah. What does it matter about me being a Palace fan when we talk about Cole Palmer? Are you not watching Cole Palmer? Am I not watching Cole Palmer? It has mm-hmm. nothing to do, to do with teams, bro. Keep the same energy. Energy, please, man. You always mention teams. It doesn't matter about what team I score. <laughs> I've literally kept the same energy. You bro. haven't, bro. Two weeks ago, a week ago, you said Palmer's not a good yeah, footballer. Yeah. Now you're saying he is. <laughs> How? How's that the same energy? The, the mad part, D, if, if Palmer played for Arsenal, yeah, he would be waxing lyrical. Waxing you lyrical. You can't flip flop, man. man. You can't flip flop. <laughs> I ain't saying with the rest of He's got He's a deep, man. Listen, I'm not going <laughs> to tell you what the hell people are chatting about, man. Anyway, go uh, Listen, go ahead. Listen. Let me, let me, I ain't doing it. I'm moving on from the Palmer thing, right? Right. Bro, it's let me crazy. Clear, let me even the Arsenal up. thing, bro. I literally have yeah. no idea. I've said like six times. You asked me a question. I said six times. I did not say that he's he's Brendan Rogers. But you would you I whatever see, you think that Curtis did, and I thought I was like, yeah, do you exactly. Know what? I literally said the, the clip, the, the joke of it is. You've literally not listened to anything other than a two-second clip where I said, is he the Brendan Rodgers? I literally said, I love the guy, but questions need to be asked. And now the joke of it is, if Arsenal fans are cussed, cussed week in and week out because we have no standards and he doesn't win anything, so why is he staying here? And then when I ask a question, a question which is valid to ask, is he going to be here? Then hold on a second, I'm a flip-flop. <laughs> it's crazy. It's no, no, but you haven't that's the thing. A few weeks ago, you were talking about winning the league. You go off, you go off, you you two what you say what you want. It's honestly, I'm I'm people think I'm rattled. I'm just letting you get off because you're chatting a bunch of nonsense. Elise, Elise, let me ask you that. Let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Wait, hold on, D, 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 hold on, bro. Because you two are basically just saying the same thing now, yeah. Listen, D, D's getting waffling. D's not waffling, alright? I hear what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, 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 Leeds dumb. I don't trust the team. I don't trust the team. I think <laughs> what I saw from what? that team that performance, I think the league's done. I think the league's done. And again, people are going to say, oh, like you're flip-flopping. You fought last week. For me, it's my opinion that I think the league's done. Man City have never lost it. I go off facts, not conjecture, not anything else. I've seen this team last season. I thought that they improved in terms of mentality. I don't mind Arsenal losing the league. People think, oh, it's it's the way they performed on Sunday that I did not expect. And for me, I can say that I believe Arsenal are not going to win the league because if Arsenal go ahead in another game, or in terms of in the league, sorry, I don't think that we're going to take advantage because I don't trust the team. I don't trust the manager. And I genuinely did not go into that game on Sunday thinking that he was going to play that team. And he did. So for me, trust is fragile and he's broken it for me. 
So it's nothing to do with flip-flopping. It's got nothing to do with, oh, one minute I'm saying this, one minute I'm saying that. I thought Arteta had learned from his mistakes and he hasn't. He hasn't learned from his mistakes because really and truly, he's doing the same mistakes in the same part of the season every year. So yes, I go off what I see. I go off the what I've physically seen. I'm going off facts. Man City have been in six title races and they've lost one. The only one they've lost is when they were beaten by December. When it comes to crunch time, they know what to do. So if Arsenal do win it, fantastic. But for me, Arsenal have bottled it. What the hell is it got to do with me saying that I'm a flip-flop? Can I not sit there and say that one week I believe that this guy is, well, for, for the last 24 weeks, or sorry, 24 weeks, for the whole of 2024, he's shown great form. And it's the same thing with the fans. For the last, we've we've been we've absolutely you know backed this team to the hills when we were in the doldrums. We've backed this team to the hills, and that performance for me it was shocking. So I don't care what nobody says. No one ain't gonna sit here and tell me that how to support my club. Ain't no one gonna sit here and tell me I did not say that he is anything like Brendan Rodgers. It's questions that need to be asked, and I can ask them. I didn't say that he is Brendan Rodgers. I did not say that. So anyone can go and watch the video because it's there. It's physically there. And those questions need to be asked because we're a top club. And everybody says, if we keep, everybody will say, oh, hold on. Why do you keep allowing mediocre, a mediocre, a mediocre manager? Why are you allowing him? Why do you keep backing him? When do you give him, the, when do you give him time up? So hold on. When I do that, then I'm a flip-flop, apparently, because D says so. Because that, that me, because the ask, it's crazy. Let me, ask, let me ask the panel then, man. Tomorrow night, Arsenal game, like crazy. Forget Sunday. We've spoken about that enough. We spoke about Lowe's last night, and I've spoken about it enough myself, right? <clears throat> of course, that's gonna now have no confidence going into tomorrow or low confidence going into tomorrow. I start with you, Don. Like, what do you see happening in this Arsenal Bayern game tomorrow night, bro? Boy, it's gonna be a tough game. It's got to be a tough game, man. You're not, you're not in, you know, you're not comfortable. You're not at the Emirates, you know, where you had a chance to go and beat Bayern. They had no fans. You're not going to the Allianz, you know, a team with real European heritage. Um, obviously, with Bayern right now, they're missing Nabry and um, Coleman. They both got injured. I think they're going to probably going to start that. Um, his name Teller, the the, the black guy Teller, um, on the left. Yeah, I think they're probably going to start him on the left. I think they've still got enough to cause you danger. You know, they've got guys like Musiala still, Sane there, Kane there. You know. But for me, I just think that this game is going to be a little bit too much for you guys, man. I think this is where Arsenal, you know, the lack of experience is going to show. Because you guys have the quality. You guys have the quality to go and beat Bayern. But like, I've said, like I said at the start of the season, there's so many intangibles with the Champions League, man. And, you know, when you're going away to these European grounds with all this heritage and that, it gets to players. These guys are human. End of the day, they're professionals. They get paid a lot of money. But end of the day... Nerves, nerves hit hit you guys. You know what I'm saying against Porto. I remember when you guys went away, you were nervous. Even at the Emirates, like the fans were nervous, the players were nervous. You know, it's older God that had to rise for that game. So how I look at it, man, I just I just think it's going to be a little bit too much um, for Arsenal. I'll be impressed. I'll be impressed if you manage to beat Bayern and go through. I still think you'll go out probably in the next round after that against Madrid or um, or City. But this time round, I just think that mentality is going to be too much for you guys, man. In my opinion. <laughs> No, that yeah, doesn't mean that you, I think you're going to get battered, by the way. I just think that you nah, ain't going course. to get <clears throat> No, nah, I get that. D, I know you've not got long. What do you see happening tomorrow before you go? Um, It's hard to call. I, I, on paper, Arsenal should be favourites. Um, I think it's a big opportunity for the players and also Arteta to prove themselves as well. Because, you know, now that you've had that Villa result, um, this ain't you know, it's still Bayern Munich, don't get me wrong, but it's not the Bayern Munich of the past. Like, there are weaknesses in this uh, Munich side, even in, in comparison to your last game. Like, there's a few injuries that they picked up, there's a few players that they've had to rest, uh, because they're not 100%. So, this is the perfect opportunity for Arsenal to stand up and not just to prove to neutrals, but to prove to Arsenal fans that you know, as Lee was posing their questions, that Brendan Rogers and Arteta shouldn't be in the same sentence. Like, this is the time because if you lose this game, if you lose this game. It's gonna, be, uh, it's gonna be uh, the same things about Arsenal. It's gonna be oh, uh, come April, you know, when Arsenal need to stand up. Um, where is Arsenal? So, so you need to you need to win ideally. You need to win ideally, and um, and I think you do have a chance of winning. But then again, it's gonna show. It's gonna show the mentality of these players, and I think that's the biggest thing to look at uh, because Arsenal, yeah, as I said, um, in April, it, when it comes to the thick of it, 
you, you just somehow always crumble. Facts, man. I can't disagree with what you're saying. There's a problem with mentality if we can't get through this period of time, for sure. D, you're a legend, man. Thanks for jumping on, bruv. We'll see you next week. Take care. Uh, take yeah, care. Take care, you lot. Love, love, love. Man. Love, love, love. Uh, Lawless, I know you don't fancy Arsenal. You didn't fancy Arsenal in the home leg. I guess you don't fancy this in the away leg either. And they've got a couple of injuries by Munich. I know Coleman and obviously Davis is out. There's, someone said there is a doubt. Nabry. To, uh, Nabry's out as, well. as well, yeah. So there's like a doubt on Sane, but I think he's going to be okay. But what do you see happening either way, brother? I think it's going to be a good game of football. I think it's going to be tight. I think it's going to be a bit nervy to start off with, but I think Arsenal will just fall short in in this game. It, this is this is huge for for Bayern Munich. Them players have got to be fired up seeing Leverkusen lift that trophy, and this is it. This is their last chance to save their season. This is the last chance for Kane to justify moving there. He might as well stay at stay at Spurs if they ain't going to win anything this season. So. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Like the first game, you had all the fans. Any of a single fan in the ground. Now it's at the Allianz. It's going to be different. And the Arsenal players have shown they don't have that mentality, right? They don't have it up here. So when they're at the Allianz, when they're up against it, when they must in a hostile environment, will they? I don't think so. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. Um, you know, if you do get through, and like I said, there's every chance. It's still it's nil nil technically. So you know, you could you could shit out a win, um, but then you got the next round, which is either Man City or Real Madrid. It's it's gonna be tough. Arsenal have to win something this season. You have to, and and so fans have even, Arsenal fans have said about it, like you know with this team and I think it's fair like you know all, all that you've done all the good football you've played like you you should win sign like it, it would be a disappointment wouldn't it like if this team 100 all, all the great results the if runs you, let me ask you then Lourdes if you were an Arsenal fan and you're saying you've got to win something this season and we don't would you want us to, to sack do you know what I think I think on the balance of it you look at it and go yeah, okay, maybe you don't deserve to... And it's the same thing I think about with Moyes. Maybe he doesn't deserve to be sacked because you look and say, oh, well, we've been in the title race. But then you have to look at, is is it the best thing for Arsenal that he stays? Or do you give this team, this group of players, could another manager get this group of players over the line? Like, is this is this the limit? Is this as far you can be the nearly men, the bridesmaids, yeah? And... I think if I'm an Arsenal fan, I might get to that point where I go, yeah, like maybe I would like to see what another manager can do and bring in another, you know, add some other players that another manager can sort of envision. Because let's be real, the Zinchenko thing, that was that was a sign-in from uh, Arteta, you know, and, and now he's probably the most hated Arsenal player. Have it, I'm still not having that. Oh, yeah, look, it's, it's, the vision has worked out. I'm still not having that. Yeah. You know, Jesus, you were saying, you know, he's not banging in the goals. So, <clears throat> no, he's been poor, man. Yeah, man poor goal. So, yeah, give someone else the reins to this team because what's going to happen? I always say, I always, I've been, well, I don't always, I've been saying this past two years. It's not, we, you can't always just sack a manager when everything crashes and burns and it's a disaster. Then you need someone in to rebuild sack on a period of stability, right? Even though you're not winning, you're stable. Now is a good chance for a new manager to come in rather than what? Like you keep being, you know, you keep nearly getting there, then you've eventually regress and regress and then it all crashes. But then you go, oh, we've got justification to sack Arteta. So we're going to sack him now and bring a new manager. No, like now's the time. Like, cool, we're nearly there. Let's see if another manager can do it. It's a ruthless game. He gets paid a lot of money. He's not. He's not going to be. He does. Out no, he does. Over. You're right. Listen, you're right in saying that. You are right in saying that he does get a lot of money for it. I feel personally, there's a lot more context than just get rid. And I'm praying that we can cling on to something still by looking 
quite unlikely. Before I move to West Ham for the last few minutes, before we close, Lee, let me come to you. I'm going to tell you my team tomorrow night, brother, and see if you agree with me. Uh, my one to 11, I'm going to go with Rhea, White, Saliba, Gabriel and Tommy Yasu at left back. My midfield will be Jorginho, Rice and Erdegaard. And then our front three of Saka, Havertz and Martinelli. I would bring Jesus and Trossard on. And Thomas Party for me, I don't know what's happening with him, but I guess he ain't, he ain't good enough. Dad, I, nev I, never, I never, I never, I never, I never thought I'd see the day where well, you're bro. playing Havertz. I never thought I'd see the day where you're playing Havertz um, ahead of Jesus, bro. I never bro, thought I'd see the day, bro. Jesus isn't for me at the moment. I've got to say, he's just uh, frustrating. True. He's wasting chances, and I don't think he's a number nine man. Four goals in twenty three games now. This is poor. This is poor. Bro, Jackson, so, Jackson scored six more goals than him, bro, this season. There you go. That says it all, man. <laughs> and, you think, and, you, and you think Jackson's shit. <laughs> this is why, exactly. So this is why I've been I've been playing Havertz ahead of him. And he wasn't great the other day, but he missed too many chances for me, Havertz, as well. But uh, we need a striker, bro. It was clear. When everyone said we didn't because we scored scoring the most goals, I was saying, no, we need another striker. So, Lee, that's my team, man. Do you agree, disagree yeah. on anything? Yeah, I mean, I would play party. He's been there. He's been back for ages. I don't know. I don't get it. If you're on the bench, you can play, mate. I, and he needs to start. This is a crunch game. This is make or break because I think, as I said, the league's gone. I think, you know, when people keep saying, oh, how can you say we've bottled it? I, 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 what I've, I've realised is Arteta has this cult following similar to Nicki Minaj. You can't say anything. You can't question the guy. You you literally can't say anything negative. That's, now, how, I feel thinking, about That's how I feel about Saka, bro. I'm, I'm literally saying. like, I'm literally, I'm literally like, hold on a second. Yeah, he might have got us here, but he might almost make us lose the bloody title because of his decisions. So what then? You just go to next season. I, it's, I just, mate, I'll be honest. I just, I don't trust the manager, mate. I, I really don't. Like we, we you know, Kivio playing and, you know, in games and bro, I, I love the guy. He's done so well for us, but I, I, I literally, I, I don't think until they've shown me, so they show me something and they actually win now. I just don't trust this team. I, I genuinely would go to, we could be two points clear with the wor worst goal difference than Man City and we won't win against Everton in the last day. I, do, I don't trust the team. I mean, it, it, we've done it time and time again. And bro, I'll be honest, I just look at that performance in Sunday and it came from nowhere, you know. And that was pure prime bottling. Players kicking it into the other players' backs. These are things that we haven't done for the whole of the 2024. And then you do it in the crunch moment. That's when you need, that's when you earn your money. That's when you get those world yeah. card, card tags. That's when you that's when Saka earns his 350,000 or 300,000 pounds a week. That's when Saliba becomes, you know, he gets that world class tag. Not when we're playing loot in a way, and yeah, we come back, but that's not when you get it. You, you get it in the crunch moments. And this is a crunch moment. And if he does it, fair play. You move on to the next. But I'm not sitting here ready to crown any Arsenal players right now because, or any, or the manager. I think everybody, you know, even if those play, even if the players go out and put, he goes, they put out a performance. I just, I think they got shaky legs. I re, I don't yeah. trust it. I, I don't trust it. And I said this, and I'm going to keep saying this. People think it's waffle. People think it's crazy. I would trust West Ham in a final more world than Arsenal now, currently. I, I really would. And I, 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 it sounds mad, but I would. All of their strength players are bricked up. <laughs> Listen, they, they've shown me they, they can do it. Arsenal, we won the FA Cup four years ago. And since then, every single big moment we've had, it's gone to tits, it's gone tits up. Yeah, I agree and with I've that. Backed, I agree I've, that backed, I've backed the manager more than you, Dan. Over the years, yeah. I've given yeah. excuse after excuse, but Sunday, I didn't have anything. I I physically couldn't give any reason. I said before you know, the game, Arteta, Arteta, yeah, he's a he's a con he's a connotation of your fan base, he's a connotation of your players, because for him to make the decision to play Havertz in midfield, you know, change it up like the way he did, I, I, to me, that's like, bro, that's a man that crumbled under pressure and the thing, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, right. the thing is. Same thing with your players. I, I, I'm they, sorry, they, they, they crumble under pressure. Right. Your fans, no, your fans as well. Like Lee, yeah. Yeah, listen. When, when when Bayern Munich came to um came to the Emirates last week, yeah, bro, the Emirates, you could you could literally it was nerves, bro. Like from the fans as well. 
So you don't all go hand in hand. That's why you might need someone else now. Not, not even might. If Arteta can't get you over the line, you will need someone else who's going to be able to get you over the line, bro. And that's okay to say that. He's done, he's done a good job at Arsenal. Let's be real about it. But if he's not that guy to get you over the line, he's not that guy, bro. He's not that guy. you got to love your club more than Arteta, bro. And maybe so. Maybe, listen, maybe so. I don't, I'm not ready to wash my hands of a good guy. I'm not ready to say that he's, you know, he's not, you know, he's not this great player, that's the great manager, because he's done fantastic things for us. But I also have to look at what I see in front of me. I'm not, I'm not making things up. There isn't, you know, it's not down to opinions of, oh, do I rate um, Palmer on this play? This is facts. This is exactly what I'm seeing because he's producing those results. And those results, as I said, for me, it sounds crazy to say, but I've seen West Ham in a big moment go forward and do what he needs to do. And Arteta, unfortunately, in every big moment, other than one, he hasn't done it. He hasn't done it. And he's the, the the worst part of it, the worst part of it, he's got all these, he's got all the available players that he needs. He's got everybody. He's not able to say, I can't even give him that excuse, excuse, sorry. So it's not flip-flopping, it's not turning on the manager. I ain't saying that he's crap, but you have to look at it objectively. Which again, Arsenal fans are lauded that we're not objective. So when you look at me, so when Don says, oh, well, Arteta's, Arteta's a, a, um, a, a, a sort of reflection of the fans, he's not, because not every, not so one single person wanted Art Havertz in the midfield. He's not. He's not a reflection because... No, I'm, talk, I'm, no I'm, not talking, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying, I'm saying my overarching point in him doing that, I'm saying he's, he, he was, bro, it must be nerves, he's overthinking, and it's the same sort of thing as your players, right? Nerves, overthinking, over, you know, overplaying. Again, your fan base, nerves, overthinking. That's what I'm saying. That's what I said, connotation, bro. You know? Well, listen, man. It, it it's 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 just it is what it is. The way the cookies crumbled is we're up against a juggernaut of Man, uh, man City. We're up against the other teams in Europe that are cu currently they've shown that they can do certain things that we can't. And listen, as I said. Bro, it's before before we move on to West Ham, because I'm sure Lawless has got, got a couple things to say, yeah. Um, this this is what I was saying, Dan. When you lot when you lot went to the air, it had and you know I saw your your fan base celebrating a draw. I said, bro, when we played these guys, I remember I bigged you guys up. I said Arsenal can can go to the Emirates and beat Man City. And for me, that wasn't the game plan that I would have gone with. Yeah, obviously Arteta gets paid millions. He works in football, whatever. I'm not saying I know more than him, but I'm just saying that he went over there with a game plan to sit back and counter them rather than just thinking about his team and being a little bit braver. Do you know well, what I mean? I agree with you, Don, right? I agree with you here. And I said mm. on my fan cam in AFTV, it was a missed opportunity. And a lot of people said, that's ridiculous take. Like, we got nil-nil, right? I but saw the hate. I saw all the hate you were getting, bro. I saw all the hate in the comments on AFTV. Yeah, bro. I get a lot of hate. A lot of hate, right? But mm. I must say, that's not the game I'll look back on if we don't win the league, right? No, no, no. It's not the game. It's not the game that you'll look back on. But what I'm saying is, you would be better off winning that game and losing to Villa because right now, if you had lost that, if you had won that game, sorry, you'd still be above City right That's now, right? It, it gives you a little bit of a cushion, is what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously, like I said to Terry at the time, I said, listen, we're not gonna know if it's a point gained or a point lost until the end of the season. But for me, there's no better opportunity right now than to than to beat Man City. They're a wounded animal. Even me, like we're playing them this weekend. I hope, I hope we go there with the mentality that we're gonna win the game because Man City, as good as they are, they're not invincible at the back. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm, no nah, fair play, man. Listen, Lawless, let's come to you to close the show. West Ham are just a mess, bro. I can't lie. I look at them and defensively, they're a shambles. Paqueta looks like he's off to Man City. Kudus hasn't scored in four. Bowen, I don't know what, what's been happening. We've got Mavropanos trying to... I don't know what he's doing at the back. It's been pretty poor, West Ham, man. What's happened? Does Moyes just given up? Do the fans want him gone now? Is it time to get yourself out at Europa League and just say, do you know what? Thanks for the memories, but we need a different direction now. Are the fan base uniting with that decision of Moyes going, or are they still a little bit confused about what they want, bro? I'm seeing, I think the tide is turning, because I'm seeing more of the big Moyes defenders, Moyes in accounts, quietly, softly turning. They're not obviously coming to the point where they're dragging Moyes, and they're still trying to, you know, defend his legacy, whilst sort of being like, yeah, maybe, you know, it wouldn't be the worst thing if, you know, we just parted ways. So 
it, it's a real shift from where it used to be. The vehemently, you know, defending Moyes guy. Could you want him out? To what I'm seeing now, and it, it seems to be. I think people are just are just tired of, you know, watching how we play football and not even getting results, playing defensive football, and having a shit defensive record. And I see a big problem, right? We're supposed to be this counter-attacking team, and we can't counter-attack. Do you know how frustrating it is to see someone like Kudus on the counter, up front with like three to four players around him, no one to lay off the ball to, because everyone's miles back in our own half. So what is the point of being a counter-attacking team you can't counter-attack? I see it every single time, even if, it, if it's Bowen. We just run and run and run until, you know, we're up against all these players. Usually, in, in, when a counter-attack, then you you run, you come up to defenders, you pass it, switch it over, and then they have space to run in and have a shot. No, 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 no. We're expected to, pl- to take on the whole defence. And that that's just not good. That's just not good enough. We're not a, de- a counter-attacking in numbers. I see it when, even when we're um, defending corners, we don't even leave a man up way outside the box in case, you know, we, the, the ball ricochets and we have someone then who can take the ball and, and go up. So that's a Where big... are you finishing this year then? Because I said you'd come 10th, you said 7th. You said it was a disgrace, I put you 10th. I said you'd do well to get 7th. Where are you finishing? Well, this is the thing. But this is the thing, yeah, the way I look at it, right, is you put... Where did you put Newcastle? Top four, innit? Uh, start of the season, there were, all our predictions were a mess. What did we put? I put Newcastle fourth. After Arsenal, Liverpool, City, yeah. And I put yeah. Chelsea. I thought Chelsea and United would be better. Well, to be fair, I think I put Man United fifth and they're probably going to come sixth or seventh. Newcastle so this is what I'm saying. Yeah, this is what I'm there's saying. Really right? Brighton, I, there's only really Brighton that I, I put ahead of where they should be. Everywhere else is about yeah, the same. You, 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 I've got, 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 no got a question for Lawless, to be honest. I've got a question for you. <laughs> You're going to finish right. above Chelsea then? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Look, this is Chelsea's big achievement. That's what I'm, they can I'm, achieve this season. I'm letting you, I'm, so, I'm, I'm let, listen, I'm letting you, bro, bro, I'm asking you because remember in January you said we're going to finish above you and this and that. Right now I'm looking at the table. Yeah. Let me just give you a little bit of context. I'm looking at the table. We are ninth. Okay. Which is terrible in April. You are eighth. You're one point ahead of us. Um, And we have two games in hand over you. Obviously we've still got to win those games or do whatever we need Who to those do. Games again? Right? But we have plus Spurs. nine. Yeah, Arsenal Spurs. We have plus nine goal difference. You've got minus six. Yeah. Oh, I'm still, goal I'm still gotta play you. I'm still gotta play you. Don't forget, we've still gotta play you at the bridge. Yeah, we've got to get some revenge oh, for that, no. that stupid bridge. win you lot got over us at, at the beginning. Let me ask you again then, Lawless. Let me ask you again then, Lawless. Let me ask you again, the Lawless. Are West Ham finishing above Chelsea this season? Yes or no, my brother. Look, I, I still, just because you got a little 6 0 win over Everton, I still don't trust this, this Chelsea team. I said it, I said it in the, in the WhatsApp Agreed. group. If we finish below Chelsea, Moyes should never, ever work in football again. Any manager, like, he shouldn't just be <laughs> sacked. He should be retired. Come because on, Lula, I, know is... I know we're bad. I know we're bad, yeah. And listen, people will say the table doesn't lie, but let's not act as if we're united bad. We're more than 14 teams. Have had more than twenty shots against them. What? I'm, I'm what? sorry, Dan. I don't, I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't want to get into this mid off here yeah, because it's, it, it stinks. But all I'm saying is, yeah, look at, look at, look the perfect represent, the perfect game, the perfect example. United got peppered. Season. United got peppered by Brentford. Yeah, Mason Mount comes on and they nearly scammed the win. Nearly scammed the win, and it took obviously Tony at the at the end of the game. He did what he did, yeah, and then they ended up drawing the game. That's been United all season, bro. They scam wins, okay? But when you watch them over 90 minutes, bro, they are bad, bro. I've just read Wait, it to you. You didn't scam a win teams. against Man United at the bridge. You didn't scam that win. You didn't no, scam bro, a win there. You didn't scam that win. That was a chaotic game. It was a chaotic game, bro. It was a chaos game. I, I said it's going to be ping pong football, right? But when I watch us and I watch United, we do it, bro. We we literally, we, we don't like winning games because we there's so many individual mistakes where we do it to ourselves. Yeah, and our structure, like I said, is all over the place. United, same sort of thing. Ten Hag, he's got the structure all over the place. But we don't get, as bad as we are, Lawless, we don't get pammed as much as they do. Yeah, but from we where, we, where we've where we been and where you've been, right, we've been in and around the top six, top seven, pretty much all season, right? 
all season mm. we've been up there. You've been like as low as what, like 14th for saying 13th, like yeah, but the point, the point, the point, the point difference hasn't been that mad, like you know what I mean. I, like I'm just I'm just I hear I hear what you're saying. I hear what Come I hear on, what you're saying, Lawless. Yeah, about not trusting us, innit? it? And not not trusting us. Me, I know you got to shoot, man. Go on. I, 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 I always say to, I always say to people when they're speaking about Chelsea. As much as I'm a Chelsea fan and I agree with a lot of what they've got to say, just be careful of your predictions because we are unpredictable. We can go and do what we did yesterday again for the rest of the season, or we could just do ping pong football again for the rest of the season. There's no in between with us. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's hard. It's hard. To that. You just but, drew against Sheffield United and Burnley, yeah. So yeah. I'm not going to sit here and start shaking in my boots because of a, a, a 6-0 win. I'm not doing Everett. that. I'm not doing that. I'm not. You're, you're I'm just saying. Man I'm if just saying. man don't thinking. turn up, you're done. Like, you are you are Cole Palmer FC, right? You're right. So you right. hope that Cole Palmer has enough to drag you above West Ham. And like I said, I will not, I will not forgive finishing below this Chelsea team. I think that's criminal. This season, from where we've been to, to where we are, you know, where we could be, if we finished ninth or 10th, if we finished outside of Europe, that's criminal. Because I see so many West Ham fans been like, oh, we've been seventh, we've been seventh. It's, it doesn't matter where you where we've been. It's going to be about where we end up. So that would be bottle jobs. You know, we sit there and we talk about Arsenal being bottle jobs. We talk about Spurs being bottle jobs. Are we really going to bottle a European place? It's criminal. And and again, our squad, look what we've done to our squad. You've got some semblance of depth. You've got some players coming back. That's a cause for concern. You know, we've we've gotten rid of any any hope of depth in our squad. We, For now, it's, it's, it's mad. We, we ain't lawless. We ain't lost in time, bro. Yeah. But I've been speaking to you a lot like we have because I haven't been happy with the performances. You know, you might know I'm real with it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yesterday the performance was good. These are the sort of performances I want to see for me to have some chest. You've been you've been getting onto me this season, Lawless, and I haven't even been able to have chest back because of how because I don't believe in my team. You know what I'm saying? But listen, me personally, if we've got any shame, we have to finish above West Ham because we've, we've still got to play you. And I, I, I reckon, I I reckon we beat you at the bridge. Come. I reckon we beat you at the bridge. Brighton are going to come 10th, but I think it's between you, man, who come. I mean, like, Chelsea need to be fair to win their games in hand. I mean, it is hard against Spurs and Arsenal, I get it, but you're looking at, like, 6th, not, like, 7th or 8th. But I think looking at what Chelsea have done, Man United look stinky. Newcastle are back with players. I think Newcastle will get that 6th now. I think Man United, West Ham and Chelsea, I can't call that, man. I think Brighton are going to come 10th, but I can't call where Chelsea are going to finish because I don't know what Chelsea are going to get. coming back. Bowen's come back. Look, we're two points off six, yeah. I, I think we're going to lose on Thursday. I can't see us performing a miracle. Um, so all we have to save our season is getting a European place. Like, this is it for us. We have to play every game after that Leverkusen game. Obviously, Leverkusen, we have to play like it's a cup final that we're 2 0 down in, but we have to every Premier League game. Like, so that Chelsea away game. Is huge. That's a six pointer. Like, yep. You know, we got Palace on the weekend. We have to go there and win. Liverpool at home. That's going to be tough. Um, hopefully, they're sort of already out of the title race, and maybe there's a chance we can get something there. But yeah, have to beat Chelsea away. Have to beat Luton at home, and then Man City away last game of the season. We might as well say that zero points, right? In the like last game. So I don't know how many. Maybe three wins and a draw gets us a European place. You know, so 10 points, I'm thinking, at that table. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I mean, Chelsea, yeah, they've got they've got Man City, they're going to get knocked out in the FA Cup um, from. Arsenal, Arsenal away, they ain't winning that. Like, Arsenal will win that game. Let's be real. Let's be real. You ain't I beating Villa. I think, you're forgetting, I think you're forgetting how we performed at the bridge. When we played them, yeah, but that's the bridge. This is this is the library. That's the bridge. This is the library. We went to the Etihad. This one said we're unpredictable. We went to the Etihad. We made we made ourselves at home in that first half. You know, when we when we went to Anfield, we were shocking that game. Yeah, shocking. We went to um even United. We were shocking again. But I don't want to bore you guys and talk about how Poch set us up for that game. You know, because when we played Liverpool, well against the bigger side, man. Look at their 
Arsenal away, Villa away, Spurs at home, yeah? West Ham at home, which is a, a six-point. Like, yeah, is that whole supposed to be scary or something? No, I'm not saying we're supposed to be scary or you're supposed to be scary, but it's still going to be a tough Spurs game. Both... Well, the way Spurs play, oh, Spurs, Spurs, the way Spurs, Spurs play, yeah. I'm, actually, I'm actually looking forward to that game because they play they play chaos football as well. They love playing yeah, a high yeah, line. Yeah. That's what I suit our players. No, but that game can go either way. I'm not saying like, yeah, oh, yeah. like that, that game can go either way. Yeah, I think our game could go either way. Forest, you need to be beating Forest away. Brighton away. That they've not been amazing, but that could be sticky. And then you've got Bournemouth for last game of the season at home. That could be a game you win. So there's some hard, there's some hard games there. But I, I think hard like, game. Fair, Chelsea, Chelsea have actually done all right against the big sides, man. To be fair, this season, like if you look at it, like it wouldn't surprise me if they turned up against us and got bloody two two again or something. Do you know what I mean? That's the way Chelsea have been. Like eighty had they got three three draw was it done? Yeah, three three. Like it's mad. It's no, mad. no, 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 no. Sorry. At home, at home, we drew four four. Um, that game was a classic. Oh, right. Sorry, that was the one. And then uh, at the air, had we drew one one. There you go. So that's what I'm saying. It's absolutely crazy. It's what they're doing. They've been terrible. Yeah, even by Don's thing, he said they're terrible. Can't beat Sheffield United and Burnley, but then they don't lose to Man City. <laughs> it's mad. It's absolutely mad, bro. It really is. So you just don't crazy. know what Chelsea's yeah. gonna turn up. That's what I'm think. I'm saying. But this, listen, this I've, got, is... I've got to, I've got to wrap up because I've got another show. To get on to, but uh, big up to Lawless. Make sure you do me a favor, head over to at the Lawless. Make sure you head over to uh, in the description or to Greasy Don or YouTube channel Don CFC. Uh, make sure you follow Deep Palace as well and Gunali as well, man. <laughs> and yeah, I think I'm uh, doing a, an opposition preview with D. Uh, so oh, that's wow. gonna be well, you're playing Palace next. Yeah, we got Palace. Oh, next, that's so. gonna be do you know what it is? I can't lie, I didn't even big up Palace here because D had to obviously D and Lee were just going back and forth, yeah. But bro, the way they the way they're playing football, this new manager, yeah, Poch can learn a few things. I can't lie, it's some. Oh, good things. come on, man! Poch, come now, on. I'm being real, bro. I've told you already. Poch is probably the worst coach in the league. That's their first win. That's their first win under this new manager. Yeah, but it's bro. It's how they're playing, bro. It's a, it's a big change in comparison to Hudson, bro. Big big change, man. They got Adam, man, like Adam Morton, You know, big baller. So yeah, man. Olise is back. Eze is back. Mm, I'm gonna watch. That. I'm gonna try and watch that one. What day is it on Saturday? Saturday? Is they in Elise? Are fucking quality. It is. Man. Sorry, they are oh. quality, bro. Quality. Let me even check. When is it? Saturday. Sunday, three o'clock. Oh yeah. I'm, okay. What are you saying? What are you saying? Yeah, I'm watching that game. I'm gonna watch that oh, game. Man, we got. We got to win. We must win because is if that we your lose, place? is it at your no, place? Wait. <laughs> it's away, bro. It's at the park, yeah. Since we're calling all our grounds, it's the bridge, it's the park, it's the London. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's at the park. Um, what do you call your place? So, yeah. Well, well it's, I don't know. The, the stadium. It's the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> For the London. <laughs> the London. So, uh, which I'll be there man. Thursday. And like I said, we're probably going to get, we're probably going to go out, which means we need a response because we don't respond. That's oh, going to be a lot of games. If you do not win that game, D will never, ever let you forget it, bro. You cannot lose That's that game. That's what he's got. Like, this is literally, and I, I'm not even saying it in the Spurs way, but this is like he's cup final because this is what he has this season. If you don't beat West Ham, what has he got to shout about? What has he got to celebrate this season? What has he got to well, stick listen. his chest out about? He ain't got much, man. He ain't got much. Listen, people, do me a favor. Make sure you come follow these, man. Make sure you hit a like. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, nowhere near enough likes, man. There's been well over four to five hundred of you throughout. So make sure you're smashing the like, man. Come on. And uh, stay tuned because you've got myself, a gal, Kenny, Northside, and Brandon talking all things Arsenal next. So uh, don't go anywhere, as they say on the big six. Take it easy, man. Big up to Don. Big up to Lawless. And we'll see you next time. Take it easy. We're out of here, people. Laters.